good news for you. Last night, I decided to cast you as Kate in Taming of the Shrew. Really? Yeah. But, I mean, Kate is a very angry young lady, so you've got to be able to bring that out, and you can't just hold it all in. Okay? Do you think I can do it? Well, I wouldn't have cast you in the part if I didn't think you could do it. I mean, you've done all these little fluff parts, and, uh, well, you've done a couple of dramas, and you've been excellent. And now is the time to stretch out, you know, and you've got to bring that out. And listen, why don't you come by my place tomorrow night, and we'll go through it, huh? I'll give you some, some Shakespearean breathing exercises, and, uh... I don't think that's a good idea, Charles. Well, I'll just have to go home by myself, then, and go to sleep. To die, to sleep, no more. Ah, to sleep, perchance to dream. Ah, there's the rub, for in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when you've shoveled off this mortal coil must give us pause. Mental pause. <laughs> Santa Claus. Something's never changed. Okay, listen. We'll go over your character tomorrow in class, okay? Okay. <laughs> Bye.
check this letter out. Julie, that chick in the office, she's banging Professor DeLong. Dear Charles, I think about you late at night while I lay in bed. The passion of last night stays fresh. Oh, this is beautiful. I wouldn't mind doing it myself. If we got caught, you'd lose your scholarship and so would I. Look, why don't we just meet for a cup of coffee and talk or something, huh? Pick you up in 15 minutes. Okay? See you later. I'm on my way. Bye.
there at the theater. It was Paul Duchene and Cole Calder. Did you tell the police? Why? I can't. Why? They found an old letter I wrote to Charles. Eric doesn't know anything about that. He won't understand. If Eric really loves you, it won't make any difference. You have to tell the police. You can't let them get away with this. I'm afraid. You can't let them go on like nothing happened. People like Paul and Carl think that they're above the law. They'll do it again. You have to report it. If not for yourself, then at least to keep it from happening again. Oh, Julie.
Don't worry. She's probably some old hippie who took too many acid trips. Who? Something. Come around here inside the gate where I can see you. I was beginning to think you weren't coming. We got a little lost. I'm My name is Lisa. Uh, Frida, and this is Julie. My fee is $20. Payable after the session. And only if you are satisfied. Okay? Whatever happens inside this room will only help to release the anger within you. Anger, I might add, which is more than justifiable. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, spirit of the unholy one. one. 
we call upon thee now. We disturb thy kingdom. <laughs> I want to meet the demon of vengeance. I could use a date. <laughs> hey, you maniac. Trapper. They're going to turn you around. Where have I been? Where have you been? Some tax 
picking up a fan. Oh, the bag. Yes. What about me? Well, there's something. Hey, Pa. Hi, Dave. Hi. Pa, we were going to dance. Okay, later, honey. Okay. Go on. You're not going to believe what I just did. Mm -hmm. Boy, this calls for a shot. All right. Nice, thank you. Ah, tequila. <laughs> Paul, I gotta talk to you. What happened to Julie? Why'd she leave? Who? Julie, my girlfriend. Why'd she take off? Well, maybe she didn't like your music. Look, pal, don't give me any of your jokes. I'm not your pal. I'm your employer. And I'm paying you to play. So play. You know what happened. You're gonna tell me. You don't wanna know. Yes, I do. Okay, tough guy. She wanted to buy some blow, but didn't have the cash, and she came on to me. And I passed. You're a liar. She doesn't do drugs. Oh, really? She does a lot of things you don't know about. Hey! Pretty boy. Hey, if you hit me, I'm not gonna pay you or your bandit time. Don't hit me, man. Don't hit me. Stay away. 
way. back for more. Answer an ad in the paper. 
Do you know Paul Deshane? Oh, is that who you're looking for? Did she hurt him? No. I don't know. Look, if you see him, tell him to find me. Wait, I don't know who he is. Jackie, that's that's fine. That's, I think that's enough for today. Don't don't go away yet, though. Uh, something I want to talk to you about. Just a minute. Jackie, you're doing just fine. You really are. It's coming along. Coming along. Yeah. You seem to be a little little uptight though, a little nervous. Yeah. You know? I didn't think so, but I saw in class, I saw a certain, well, like an innocence, you know, it's a great a beauty that, that's in you, and I just, I want to bring it out, especially in this part of Julia, and, uh, you seem to be all knots, look at this, look at this, can I loosen this? In fact, you don't even need this, here. take that, okay, let's just loosen these knots up, there, now, do you feel better? Yeah. That's kicking your shoes off at night, right? Okay, I want you to try something, here, spread your legs a little bit. The breathing exercise. I want you to think of uh, when you take a breath. Don't do it until I tell you. Mm -hmm. Just take a deep breath and let it come from right down up through your womb and into your body. Let it come right up and right up into your breath and up into your body, up into your head, and then let it all come out of your mouth. And that's what I want you to do when you think about Julia, the part. You know, I want that to come through you like that. All right? Okay, right. okay now here. here you, Okay, let all the air out. That's it. Okay. And, and breathe in real slow. Real slow so I can feel it fill up. That's it. See? That's it. That's beautiful. That's coming along. And what that'll do is that'll take all the, all the energy and, and bring it out. Bring it out of you. So you'll dig deeper into yourself and we'll just feel a bunch of words falling out. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I have some... Are you doing anything tomorrow night? No. Can no. you come over? Yeah, sure, sure. Great. Okay, I'll give you some exercises that will really, really help you so that when you get on the stage, you won't be quite so, so tight, okay? Great, thanks. All right, you're doing good, though, and just keep it up. All right, I'll see you tomorrow night. Okay. All right, Jack. Charles? Julie, have you uh, been here long? No. Well, look, if you came to talk to me about your part, character? I mean, I just as soon do it in class, okay, so that all the students get the benefit. It's not about school. Really? What's, what's wrong? I'm here to warn you. Warn me? About what? The night before last, Carl called and Paul Deshane raped me. What? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so sorry, honey. You went to the police, didn't you? I'm going to this morning. I don't know how, but Deshane got hold of the letter I wrote you. I was worried it would show up in the investigation and you'd lose your job. Well, uh, could, couldn't you just tell him it was, uh, it was a romantic fantasy? Look, say whatever you want. I'm sorry, Charles, if this has to involve you. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. You, you've got to go to the police. But it's just that it's about such a damn shame that uh, I'll probably, probably revoke your scholarship. Why? Why would they do that? Well, I thought you knew. I mean, Duchesne's mother is on the school's board of trustees. Julie, I'm so sorry, honey. Listen, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll, we'll think of something, okay? Okay. Oh, okay.
for class. Look, what you saw isn't what it looks like. Professor DeLong and I were just talking. That's all we were doing. Is that what it was? Huh? Yes. Talk? Yes. Just talk? Yes. That's something that upset me. That's something you don't know about. Uh, after what I saw last night, I'm sure there's a lot of things that you're doing that I don't know about. What does that mean? Eric. Eric. What does that mean? Look, you had me convinced you were some kind of angel, and I almost fell for it. I don't know how you get your straight A's. Shame. I don't know. What do you do, take off for Mexico again? By astro light, by moon beams bright, I charge the water clear. To turn the tide for Julie, the face reflected here. The moon will take away all strife, commits another phase. A mirrored surface, smooth as glass, will thus describe your days. With hope serene within your breast, forget all hurt and pain. Emerge from oceans newly born and laugh at life again. Julie, there's a phone call for you. 
Julie. This is Alan. What? Don't hang up. I didn't do anything to you. That's right. You didn't do anything. You could have stopped him, Alan, or at least tried. But you didn't. I suppose you know that Calder and Duchesne have split. I guess they figure you'll dump this whole thing on me. Well, if my name gets into this, my old man will find some way of shutting you up for good. And rather than itself, 
I will be free. Excellent, Julie, excellent. Keep that level of anger. It's right on.
touch it flow, a mind and spell and flame aglow. I trust that thou wilt grant this boon, O lovely goddess of the moon.
Paul, Carl, and Alan. I dreamt about it, but then I saw her, me. And I, I, I saw this horrible monster, and it killed Charles. Now she's after Eric. We've got to stop her. Please, you've got to help me. Okay, let's go. Did I just miss something?